Hey guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So today I wanted to do a room tour of the guinea pig room. If you saw my last video, which was kind of my life updates video, I mentioned that I am moving at the beginning of August. So the pigs will no longer be in this room at that time, obviously. We will be moving to Pig Dad's house, so they will be getting a new room. So I wanted to show before I moved where they are now where they live, how their room is organized, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then I will show you, I have a couple other videos planned that I want to show you of what we do now, and then once I move, I'll vlog the move, hopefully, and then I'll, I will get new routines established, get their room set up, all that kind of thing, and then do another set of kind of the same videos to show you how things have changed. So. I've wanted to do this room tour for a while anyways. I filmed it and then couldn't get the voiceover to work correctly for an unknown reason. So I just decided I would film another one. So you can see the cage right here in this corner and the pigs are just hanging out. So it's kind of the middle of the day. So I will do a quick pan of the whole room and then go into detail of each section. you see when you come in the room which it kind of moves around but um, I usually have it right inside the door or kind of in the middle of the room is our air purifier um, it's just a Honeywell brand you can take the filters off and clean them and change them um, so I don't have to buy filters all the time I can just clean them off and it's nice because you can see the light on the top it's this it won't focus of course but this light on the top when the filters need changed comes on. So that's nice. It's off right now for me to film, but I usually keep it oscillating in the room to kind of keep the air filtering. Then I have this table right inside the door. Um, this has their, right now it's got my camera bag. It has their scale. It has some pens, my little YouTube notebook, and then um, just a fleece pad on there. This is what I use to do their health checks and weigh them and kind of just store stuff when I'm working in here. And then they're not here right now because I'm adding some things, but underneath here is usually where their health kit and their grooming kit go, just so that they're easily accessible, but they're also out of the way. And then I just have chair, the cute guinea pig pillow, and owl pillow, blanket, up on the walls, I just have some posters, guinea pig, tea towel, and then a World Equestrian Games poster from when it was in Kentucky. Um, and then we have our webcam. Um, so this is a live camera, so me and Pig Dad can check on the pigs from our phones all the time, which is really nice for him since he doesn't get to see them every day like I do. And then panning over, this is right across the wall from the door. This is just a shelving unit that stores their fleece. It has a container with their dishes at the bottom and then my cleaning supplies, vacuum tools, and then kind of bigger hideys, which that cube is squished. Um, and then cuddle cups go on the next one, and then tunnels. And then I put their cubes on top. I have a light that I never hung up. And then I have their bin with their treats in it. And then we get to the nice big window right here. It just has some piggy related decor. Lulu pig's ashes. And then their night light. And then another fan for when their window is open. Um, on top of this wood thing, I just have their stuffed animals and their little lovey blankets. 
that shelf is just it's a crate turned sideways it's just hanging out there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it then I have the cage which goes in an L around the room and then their light is over in the corner I have this decor up here those three pictures at the bottom are from When Guinea Pigs Fly on Etsy. Um, I forget where the guinea pig chalkboard came from, but I'll link it down below if I can find it. And then those two pictures come from Dandelion's Gallery on Etsy. Then I have this shelf that just has Hay Tunnel and Heidi's on top. I have a thermometer that tells me the temperature and the humidity. So like right now, it's a little bit too warm in here because the air purifier is off. And then I have this shelf that they can go in the bottom two cubes. And then the top ones, that one just has miscellaneous extra things like old hay racks and um, bedding samples and our old scale and that kind of thing. And then that one, the other one, has their um, bigger stuffed animals and like their holiday decorations. So their stockings and... Christmas decorations are in there, and I think the lights from their old cage. So then we got the rest of the cage. We got their trash can over here. And then we have this guy, which is just a cheap plastic shelf I actually had from college. So it's probably like seven years old now. Um, it just holds their wood Heidi's and um, the wooden plastic Heidi's. And then on the top, it just has. Like I said, Heidi's and then our dustpan and stuff have fallen back on the top, but they usually sit up there on the top. And then next to that, we have the closet. So I just have this bulletin board with all these things on it from Sherwood Pet Health, Guinea Pigs Weekly UK stickers I've stuck on there, stuff from um, Small Pet Select, our little calendar, Playtime Little Critter Creations, Twilight Chinchillas, all those little things. Then for here, so I have a picture of all the pigs up at the top. Oh, it's a glare from the window. Just this little picture I had. And then we have their small pellet container on top. And then we have this drawer set, um, which looks really empty because usually it's all filled obviously but I'm trying to catch up on their laundry I cleaned their cage last night so I'm a little bit behind but um, the, those two empty ones usually have fleece pads in them more fleece and then the second to the last one is Twilight Chinchillas and Playtime Little Critter Creations toys and then the bottom is all their other toys and then there's Carrier right there which doesn't go there but it's new someone at work gave it to me so I don't have anywhere to put it. But then if we go in the closet, yes, it's a disaster, I know. So, hay box with a giant pile of hay on the floor that I haven't got around to cleaning up. Um, this was a 50 pound box of hay from KMS Hayloft. So it did not fit in here. Normally our hay goes in this black trash can here so I can snap the lid on and keep the mess down. That's a Heidi I need to wash and put away. Usually all our fleece liners are hung in here. Like I said, I have a ton of laundry to do. So there's only two in here. All our little pads go up here. That's our old carrier. And then in here on this shelf, I just have, this is their big pellet container because I get them in bulk. Um, in this box, there's just extra Oxbow tabs we don't use, extra water bottle, um, Oxbow haystacks. These are just extra hangers and things to hang toys and stuff on the cage. And then back there, the top one has extra connectors and zip ties and things for the grids. And then the bottom one has our old pellets um, that really need thrown out now from KMS Hayloft that we don't use anymore. And then up at the top, there's a bag of really crappy KT hay that I really just keep in case I absolutely run out. Um, old hay rack part of their travel cage and then three bags of carefresh and a half bag of carefresh that I probably will throw away um, but I have that carefresh just in case someone watches them for me because um, that's a little bit easier 
for the pigs to be on than someone having to spot clean. So back out in here, this is where we started, over here at the door. So the last thing I kind of wanted to show was this cute little sign I have on the door. It's a guinea pig, it says bedroom. I'll link that down below because I got that from Etsy as well and it's really cute. So yeah, that is our pet room. If there's anything that you want to see more in detail, let me know. But really we just try to keep it cleaned up and efficient in here. So I will be doing a video of our current daily routine and then I will do a video on cleaning out this room, getting rid of some stuff, sorting it, getting it ready to pack up and move. Um, hopefully I'll be doing a video of setting up the new pet room. I'll vlog our move and then once I get moved I will do setting up, like I said, setting up the new pet room and then moving the pigs in and organizing that room and then hopefully we'll do a new routine once we get settled and established so got some good videos ready to go and i might toss in a uh, guinea pig supplies haul or i shouldn't say a guinea pig pet supplies haul because i have a surprise coming hopefully in august or september so i've been doing a little shopping for those things so Hopefully I'll have that haul for you soon, but I'm not going to say what it is. I'm just going to show some things I've bought and see if you can guess and then unveil the new pets whenever I'm able to get them. So that is all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our pet room tour. Like I said, let me know if there's anything you want to see more in detail. I kind of just did, you know, a quick overview. Um, follow us on Instagram with the tiny herd. I've been posting some pictures and things there some more updates and then if you like this video like and subscribe feel free to leave a comment down below and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye